I've sunk an enemy destroyer. In the way she lurks, the ocean's healthy queen with torpedoes on. Her silence goes unseen. In the deep she hides, her tar is in sight. A ghost in the sea, a phantom in the fight. Ruler of the deep, silent and profound. In the art of war, where her foes are bound. She strikes with grace, a force unseen. In the world of warships, she is the queen. Hey, team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the Z-52, and oh my goodness, I did not realize how powerful this destroyer is, and uh, you're going to take a look at some of the videos that I got, and uh, man, I, I really underestimated this thing, but let's take a look at it. As always, before we begin, like, subscribe, button below. If you like what we're doing here at the channel, help us uh, build a community, make a better place, and learn something at the same time, and you see value in it, like it, the video, and uh, put some comments of what we could do better. So as always, let's get right to it. And uh, Z-52, so this thing is literally, if I had to sum it up, a cap contester. Uh, I mean, this thing is literally one of the only sh destroyers, I think, out there with the six-kilometer hydro that can really do things like we're about to do right now that really its job is just go straight for the cap and figure out what to do uh, when the mess starts happening. And that, I think, is really, really fun because it opens up so many possibilities for enjoyment. And this is a game, right? It's a simulation. Enjoy it. But it is also a great way to practice techni techniques, tactics, and kind of figure out wh what works best for you and how you can employ your weapon systems to the best of your ability. So right here, here's the bread and butter. Six kilometer hydro and smoke. It literally is almost overpowered in a sense because you got no other defense for it other than radar or maybe another counter six kilometer hydro. But most ships don't have that ability. Most ships don't have radar. Most ships don't have the six kilometer hydro. So really, it, it is you being able to just employ this tactic right here. Look, the Napoli smoked up. It stopped. He can't really see me, but he can try to blind fire and torp. But and that's pretty much it. But look at what we're doing to the side of his hole here. And we're just like putting AP. Now, the AP, German AP is very powerful. Um, not improved pin angles like the British destroyers, but it can do significant damage if you um, employ it properly. We get a lot of great torpedo hits right there. Look at that, 30,000 damage on the torpedoes, and Napoli's regretting his decision moving in. I think, again, look at that. The Z-52, a little bit even better for cap contesting than a Napoli is, and I thought the Napoli was very, very powerful. Even the armor, but the HE is the bread and butter of this destroyer. It is a cap contester with HE that pins 32 mil without even playing with IFHE or anything. It literally is just baked into the guns, and that is your really the primary weapon system that you're using. And I've read online that you can use the torpedoes, even with the legendary upgrade, you can make, play this as a torpedo boat, but honestly, the guns are the most consistent thing for uh, cap contesting. So Napoli is taken out right there for Vermont. I was calling for it. Way to go, um, you know, Vermont, for helping us out. And now we've got Charlie Cap auto, all to ourselves. Bravo Cap is being taken by the submarine, and the Alpha is probably going to get overwhelmed, so we're going to have to do our job to help Charlie Cap out. Now, our responsibility as a destroyer is to help Charlie Cap because that's where we start. So, guess what I'm doing? I'm capping, I'm contesting, I'm spotting for the, our team, I'm torpedoing just like I did right there. I, t I tried to take out the Napoli thinking it was a destroyer, but now our job is to destroy our hunt, right? We want to help our Minotaur in Vermont out by literally going back and responding to the problem. Right now, we our team is having a struggle taking on the Bungo and the gearing out here and being smoked up and everything. So, guess what we're going to do? We're going to go over there and help them out. And that's our Joel. We're a quick reaction force to go where the bleeding's at and try to stop the bleeding. And look, there are the torpedoes right there. Now, the torpedoes are not like the greatest thing. There are eight of them, on, and they reload pretty fairly quickly. They're 10 and a half kilometer range, so not the greatest range, but they're okay. The detectability is a decent 1.4 seconds-ish kind of reaction time. So, again, they're not the greatest, but they do pack a punch when you are within close enough. And again, they're just standard torpedoes. Now, here it is. Pop in the hydro. You got the gearing spotted. He can't do anything but either come out. And now here we go. Pop the smoke. We slam on the brakes. Now, this thing reverses really quick, I've noticed. So, like, watch it. Look at the speed right here. And we can really reverse um, pretty darn quickly. And now, look, the gearing has got no defense against us other than torping and firing blind. And now we're just going to take advantage of this. And he's being revealed by our teammates as well. So this is really the biggest power of the Z-52, having a six-kilometer, almost long-lasting radar, if you want to call it, but it's hydro. And is really just devastating. Oh, my gosh. Look at that right there. Eliminated the whole cap of contesters. We had the Napoli removed. We had the um, gearing constantly perma spotted, and now we're just going to take on the Bungo with these guns. Now look at look at the kind of damage we're doing with the um, just the front two turrets. Starting fires, great fire chance, right? And then we have the 32 mil pin on these guns, which 
really is a very, very good thing, especially with a lot of battleships are baked in 32 mil or less. And that is exactly what we get a lot. And we're later in the video, you're gonna see us, you know, attacking. I know American battleships are baked in 32 millimeter bows, and boom, there it is, splash one. And there, yeah, a lot of ships are baked in that 32 millimeter bow, and that really is just enough for us to do a significant damage uh, and really just be that little cap contester which is distracts everybody and that's what we want to be we want to be that major annoyance distractor quick reaction force the destroyer hunter we want to uh shoot cruisers uh reveal them just torpedo them and look we're also taking out another uh cruiser as well the moscow who's just sitting in the back here not really understanding the tactic here but look we're going to be a distraction now let the vermont take his time while aiming very precisely and we're going to continuously spot the moscow you know, I elected to do this because I had enough HP, and I kind of want to test it out the juking abilities of this thing. So now we don't have engine boost right now, but I'm just kind of watching what he's aiming at and what he's doing. So uh, he's got a probably, uh, what, a pretty quick reload, probably 8 to 12 seconds-ish right there. So I'm kind of timing it. I'm kind of going, okay, there's 8 seconds. You fire it, and as soon as I see that 8 seconds go by, I'll slam and I'll change direction. So I'm looking at where his guns are, and uh, he's firing forward, kind of forward. So I'm going to keep it in reverse. And see if he gets a night not really much damage right there. And look, we get a fire going. Now look here to come the torpedoes right here. Now they're not now. Look, he shot to the back of us to the left of the screen at the five, seven o'clock, right? Or sorry, that is a seven, eight o'clock. If I see that, I go forward immediately. And then again, he's still shooting at my seven o'clock, my left corner of the screen there. So I'm going forward. He did juke his shells. He thinks on that. Going right there. And here come the torpedoes. Ooh, very nice. Look at that hit right there. And now we're just gonna mop it up and just fire a last shell. Let's see if we get that last hit. And boom, look at that. Splash two. 134,000 and damage and that's me just playing around with the Moskva just using juke abilities and so forth and being just being that really annoying distraction because guess what he's got two people shooting at him but he would rather shoot at me which is a bit, very difficult target to shoot at that range juking back and forth taking that much damage and it's really really painful and annoying so we'll speed it up right here we've already got Charlie uh, now our, our job is to take over Bravo that's it I mean we're really just gonna push in take over Bravo and try to uh, seal it the deal for our team and take a look right there. Like we're taking on the Conqueror. Yeah, he's gonna reprint his ship try or tries to, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We're just gonna try to help burn this guy down. Another fire start and boom, he goes down right there. And that is how you eliminate an entire flank. And now all you have left is the uh, submarine. Uh, so yeah, this is the easy win. So let's take a look at the uh, next video. All right, so here's everybody's favorite map, Sleeping Giant, as always in clan battles. But this now we're on the uh, randoms with the Z52. Now here's a really fun map. Now watch where we're going. We're going to go straight for the cap right here, right? And, and the cap is uh, fun because it has so many islands you use it as cover, and it really excels and ex ex you know exacerbates the actual power of the Z52 because of this six-kilometer hydro, and you're hidden with islands and smoke. It's so so difficult to deal with. Now the Stalingrad, if he had situational awareness, would radar us. Um, but we get spotted. We're going to pop our Hydro right away. And guess what? We spot the Jutland perma-spotting him, basically, right here. Now, the, if the team was smart, they would actually use the Stalingrad to radar me. But I've got island cover, so I have a backup there in case they need to shoot at me. But here we go. We've got Jutland just basically perma-detected here. Hydro, 6 kilometer. He has to get out of 6 kilometer range, which means he's got to basically stop what he's doing and run away. But I don't understand why he's doing it. Again, the tactic is, if you see a Z-52, 6 kilometers, get out of 6 kilometers away from C-52. Unfortunately, that does take some time. And while you're spotted, you're getting blasted by everybody. And look at the guns. The guns are 32 mil pen, and it doesn't matter what the destroyer is. These guns really doesn't... The HE is so powerful, and it just melts destroyers, especially when you just have free rain. And boom, it'll just flash one first blood. When you have free reign to just shoot at ease, it's very, very peaceful and calm, and it's so, so powerful. Now, here's the gearing. That gearing had that 21 millimeter plate. That really is a nuisance to some smaller caliber guns, but guess what? We got these 32 mil pin guns, and they just wreck havoc on the gearing. And now we're also perma-spotting him. He can't do anything other than getting blasted by our buddies, and that's what the Z-52 does. And boom, there he goes. He is down for the count. 16,000 damage in the first few minutes, and he, we've already killed two destroyers off the team. What did I say about destroyers? They are the key component to winning the game. If you can eliminate all of them really right off the bat, you've actually increased your probability of winning, and that is what the Z-52 does. It is a probability increaser, multiplier killer, and this thing goes in and just wins games for teams. And then, here we go. Go and Shimakaze over here. Okay, now we're going to rush him, okay? We're going to go rush the Shimakaze with our 6-kilometer hydro. He's about to run into an island, so this is situational awareness here. Stalingrad's to our right. He's not a factor to us. Nobody else is on the flank. Yamato's not going to shoot us that far out. So look at the mini-map. All we got is Shimakaze, so we'll go out and risk or expose our ship. But guess what? He's exposed as well. Finally, the uh, Stalingrad radars us, but who cares? He's got no support. Shimakaze is pretty much out in the so-called open for us because smoke doesn't matter to us. We got the hydro. 
And now he's just basically picking one guy up and boom, splash two, second destroyer or third destroyer total down. Enemy team it doesn't only has a submarine and a uh, the final destroyer left, and that is pretty uh, you know powerful in that regard right there. Uh, we launched torpedoes to Kalingrad, but unfortunately this is not going to do much. Uh, we're just going to sail right past him. Um, I'd like to not to fire at him because I don't want to waste. I think uh, out Bravo Cap for me is a really uh, probably tasty choice right here because honestly that's our job. We're going to go out and spot Cap. We're spotting Yamato. We're spotting uh, any other ships in the area. The Iowa on the left here. We're going to go in Cap Bravo. We've already killed the majority of the shores at Char uh, Delta that is, and we're getting our team free reign of the map on the eastern side. Meanwhile, Alpha Cap is being overrun, but don't worry, we're taking a third Cap so they can have Alpha. We're going to take Bravo. And here's where I think an interesting aspect of the ship really really shines is now this is an American battleship, right? Now I love the Iowa class battleships, love them, but unfortunately, but now. We're in the destroyer, we got to blow them up. So, um, unfortunately, we have to do that as part of the game. But right here, that's baked in 32 millimeter armor on the bow, and even the superstructure area is very juicy for us as well for the 32 millimeter pin. And there's really nothing on this ship that we can't uh, really just shoot at and destroy. We've got the, the torpedoes coming out. I've got a Wooster uh, way out in the distance, so we're going to avoid his radar. Now, I was cap contesting with us, so he would like to cap contest with a Z-52. So let's take a look at the, how this actually plays out. Torpedoes are looking good. They're going to go uh, hit the Iowa and take out. Let's see how much damage we can take off of this Iowa. There's uh, one, and we get one. It's about 10,000 damage, so he is flooding. And now we can switch our guns and try to get him right here. Now, here's the, the power of the guns right here. Starting fires and pending almost every aspect of his ship. Let's see here, 496. See if we can get some better aiming here. Look at that. That's about a thousand damage um, every couple seconds, and it's it's devastating. Now, notice I'm, the superstructure is probably already being saturated, or I guess you could say fully taken. So, but I looked at his bow, and remember his. I just realized at this point, that, hey, his bow is 32 mil. Our guns pin 32 mil. So let's take an aim at it and see how much, because probably most people have not shot at his bow on battleships. Most, most people normally don't aim at it, except for me, because I'm a destroyer. I can have the luxury of firing rapid and actually have the the, the um, time to aim. Look at that, 1980 right there at the bow. You're right with HE, look at that, 1980, 1980. It's not saturated yet. We're taking, look at that, almost 900 damage to 1,000, 1980. And it's just really helping us take down his HP right there. Look at that, very good, good pins. And that's exactly the power of what the Z-52 do. We also have these torpedoes as a defensive measure. And look, Iowa's still focused on us. We're a great distraction for him. And look, he forgot to look at the Stalingrad off his, oh, see, he would rather give broadside to a Stalingrad rather than you know try to mitigate that and attack me so very good lesson there for battleship players and then again a good lesson for destroyer if you can be that biggest distraction let your team do off the mopping and everything and like that and you are doing your job as a great destroyer player so right here, here we go let's go cap uh, Bravo and then we're gonna move in and try to <clears throat> excuse me, help uh, the alpha team out and take out either the Napoli or the Riga so let's see what we can do and uh, would you have to analyze the situation here take your time be patient Excuse me again, and let's see here. We can get some spotting. There we go. So we're spotting the Riga. Yeah, his radar is 12 kilometers as well. He hasn't spotted yet. So let's see if we can... Um, let's put some HE shells on him, right? So let's see if we can put some HE shells. I mean, he's only at 4,000 health, right? So HE shells, look at how much kind of damage we can do. Yeah, so he's kind of got 50 mil armor plating around the areas there. But you know what? Suiting the superstructure, 1,000 damage, and he's now healing. Yep, you know what? We're going to mitigate that healing with our shots. Look at that nice hits right there, 1,000 damage, and boom, Yoshino takes him out. Way to go there. All right, let's see if we can eliminate the final players over here at Charlie. Let's not let them take it. We got a submarine, a destroyer, Shimakaze, and a conqueror. So let's take a look at how we're going to handle this. And again, Z-52 does all the roles that you want to do as a destroyer. I think it's a very good all-around destroyer. It's in the tech tree line. You don't have to really do much for it other than grind it out. It doesn't cost money. I think I definitely recommend the Z-52 play style. Uh, someone asked me to do it, and it's so, so powerful. I totally underestimated it. The power of the smokes, the hydro engine boost, the speed is great. It's up to 40, 39 knots without the engine boost on. Oh, my gosh. Look at this torpedo. I hate these things. It curved right into us. Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? But, oh, well, it's okay. Adrenaline rush kicking in. The reload, I need to build up for it. I need to get this reload a little bit down. Uh, 2.8 to 3.3 seconds is not bad. It's a decent, just kind of standard gun reload for a destroyer. And this is really like where what you're doing right here. You can farm battleships just like normally you would, and it does a great job at it because because it starts fires, it's got that nice 32 mil pin like we talked about, and all over this conquer is a just enough pin for look at this. We're getting 2,000, 1,600 damage. We're getting 894. We're getting a lot of great damage going on. Torpedoes are causing them to turn, and again, the guns are not super super accurate, but they're enough where it's a shotgun blast to the superstructure. Which with the 32 mil pin, it doesn't matter where you hit, as long as you just aim at the big structure, and you're gonna get something. Look at that, 1,000 damage. That's all we need. If you do 1,000 damage every second. 
Boom, boom, boom. It's going to melt the guy and burn him down. Look at that. Two kills, 83,000 damage in the 15 minutes we have left here. Or at the 15 minutes that have elapsed. And look, we're taking on the submarine right here. Again, this thing drops a lot of depth charges. And the hydro is just like another hydro. You just got to drive over the submarine. You'll spot him within two. And now here we go. We're going to try to attack the uh, Shimakaze as where he's at. I haven't built this thing for RPF yet. I should uh, upgrade the commander to get it. So, man, with this thing with RPF or radio location finding, it is going to be a destroyer hunter killer because you can just figure out where they're at and go right for them. Shimakaze is finally spotted from another Shimakaze. And here comes the guns right here. And... Boom, look at that. All that the 32 mil pen guns just devastate. You can't angle against them. You can't do nothing. You're just going to accept it and take it out. Right. Three kills, 84,000 damage right there. And that is the power of the Z52. It is a cap contesting machine, almost as great as the Vampire 2, I believe. Uh, but with a six kilometer hydro, it just outdwarfs the Vampire. And I really enjoy it for that reason. The Vampire, what it's got going for is the crawling smoke and the, the rapid reload guns. If the Z52 had the guns of the Vampire, this thing would be OP ridiculous. Okay. So it was so, so powerful. It doesn't have heals, which you don't really need to too much, I think, because with the smoke and the hydro, it allows you just to creep up on people and just constantly spot them and just just push everybody out of the cap. It, is, it literally is the eye of Sauron and getting those guys out there. Number two, top of the team right there, did our part. Literally blasting all the destroyers out right there. Look, we contest. We were actually contesting four of their destroyers. I mean, we touched almost every one of them, and they just could not do anything about it. And it, the Z-52 so, so dang powerful. Um, look what we were doing here. We were doing... Uh, so, so much damage. What we were uh, able to spot, other videos, I had spotting damage for because we were constantly uh, highlighting a lot of players and everything, potential damage getting shot at. And we, we were doing our deed just for those both those mo both of those masters that we were just showing right there. And it was so, so awesome. Definitely recommend it. Um, I'll try it out the, uh, to re-increase re the, um, or re reduce the reload rate to increase the DPM on the thing. And I think it's so, so freaking powerful. And it's just uh, unbelievable. The AA on this thing is not bad either. I mean, AA is trash anyways, but it's better than uh, most other destroyers, I was surprised. I mean, actually do a significant amount of damage uh, when I was attacked by CV, so pretty good there. Uh, again, the build will be at the end of the video. Review the video, review the build, let me know what your thoughts of the Z52, how have you played it, how do you like it, what are your thoughts on it, what tactics are that I've missed that I overlooked. Let me know your thoughts on it. As always, if you see me out there, say hi, and as always, you guys be safe, and we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Cheers.